Hi, this is Dr. Michael Kay from the Center for Functional Health, and today I want to talk about one of my favorite topics, and that is balance. Balance is one of those things that many people overlook, and it's one of those things that if you don't use it, you will lose it. So you should be working on your balance activities every single day. So I always tell my patients, when you're brushing your teeth, you're going to work on just standing on one leg. So simple balance movements throughout the day, every day, is always a good thing to do. So today I'm going to show you balance movements with a rocker board. Now this is a round rocket board. There's all different kinds of rocket boards that are out there. There's all different ways how to use a rocket board. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to use the rocket board and what I show my patients in the office and how we use it to help with balance. So first I'll show you a close-up on how to use a rocket board, having one foot and having both feet on it, going back and forth, and side to side movements. So here's how we start, and it's always good to do this with your shoes and without your shoes. It's so this is the rocker board where we're going to do both feet. So you want to get yourself balanced. And the idea is to keep the edges of the rocker board off the ground. And then once you feel stable, you're going to rock your feet forward and then back. So let's get some ankle mobility. So forward and back. And then you can go side to side. And then, then just play with it a little bit. Go round and around, forward and back, side to side. Then you can do the same thing you get on the rocker board with one foot. Get your balance so you feel comfortable. And once you do that, you can rock back and forth. Now what's great is, it's a completely different feel when you do this with your shoe and without your shoe. So I definitely recommend doing both. Nice and simple. Now, for those people who have difficulty with balance, or they're just starting out with the balance board, you just bring a chair into play. So again, the same thing, you're gonna put both feet on, hold on to the chair, and make sure you get balanced. So this is a great way, hold on to the chair, you can really play with it and get a feel for the rocker board going back and forth, going forward and back. And then you can have your chair here into play, so you're gonna hold on to the chair until you feel confident that when you let go, you can hold. And it's great to have a chair because if you let go and you're gonna fall, you just hold on to your chair. So get nice, balanced, hold on to your chair. A little trick is to squeeze your glute muscles. That kind of locks everything in. So hold, and then you can try it with one leg. And then one leg goes a little bit trickier. You can have one foot, one leg, that's just gonna be easier than the other. It's just the way it is. It's like when you stretch your hamstring, have one hamstring that is a little bit tighter than the other. So again, once you get your balance, let go of the chair, hold. The idea is if you can hold this for 10 seconds, that's great. And go back here, switch legs. And again, one is always gonna be easier. Get yourself balanced first, hold on to your chair. Bring your leg up, hold. Let go of the chair. And you wanna hold that for 10 seconds. And that's it, nice and simple. It's a completely different feel without your shoes. I'm going to start with my shoes. I'm just going to make sure I'm on the outside of the circle here. And I want to get myself nice and balanced. And it may take a little bit of time. And then you want to look straight ahead. Kind of pick a spot on the wall in front of you and get still. And just let it hold so you. The whole idea is that you want to hold it where you can be balanced. Nice and easy. And once you get that, now you can start playing with it. Where you can go dip it down to one side dip the rocker board down to the other side. And now you're just playing back and forth, obviously staying on the board. And again, it's different with and without shoes. And once you get the side to side movement going, get the front movement going. And then it goes to the back and to the front and to the back. So what I'm doing is I'm touching the rim of the rocker board in the front and in the back. So this also helps with ankle mobility as well. Now, once you get comfortable with that, you know, you want to be able to go back and forth a few times and about, you know, five to 10 repetitions each side, five to 10 going back and forth without falling off the board. You then want to step off, get yourself nice and situated, and then get your one foot in the center of the board. And then when the one foot is in the center of the board, you're going to hold the other leg up. And again, you can rock that ankle backwards and forward just to get that ankle mobility. I like to do this and make a challenge with this by using weights. So I'll get on the rocker board again. I'm gonna get situated first, so my feet are on the outside, get nice and stable, and then one weight at a time. So you can do curls like this, staying on that board, making sure like the rim of the board does not touch 
the floor. And by doing this, I'm also squeezing my glutes at the same time. So I'm working on balance, I'm working a little bit of core. And then the next challenge is doing this with just one leg. So again, you wanna make sure that you're situated first. So I'm on here, my right glute is squeezed, I'm gonna hold, and I'm curling. So this takes a little bit of focus and concentration. It took me a little bit of time to master this. But once you get down, it's a great move to do. Okay, that's it, balance. Use it or lose it, do it every day. See you soon.